guys, it's me, Stormy, and today I'm going to talk to you about the new moon coming on October 8th at 15 degrees of Libra. Now, this new moon, first of all, a new moon is an absolutely beautiful time of new beginnings because what's actually happening when we have the new moon is that it is a part of a 28-day cycle, but in this particular portion of it, the sun and the moon are conjunct, so they're here. They're holding hands. They're together. When the sun and the moon are together, anything is possible. It's very, the initiative, the energy is here. There's a lot of life that can be happening here. This is why we say at this new moon or any new moon is when we plant these seeds of intention for new beginnings, right? Like we want something to come. We need change here. Change gonna come, right? Like we have that kind of energy right here at this moon. Now, the other factors of the astrology are what help to impact the new beginnings that we're going to be able to take. So let's talk about that. First and foremost, with this particular new moon, like I said, it is, it is in the sign of Libra. And Libra is actually ruled by the planet Venus. And Venus is going to be retrograde while we're having this particular new moon. So I think that that gives quite a bit of indicator of how much introspection we're going to have to put ourselves under and how much we're going to have to be absolutely um, willing to go back into our own lives to maybe clean house and see what we need to get rid of so that we can have these new beginnings. My thought is further extended with that because Pluto is also in the mix at this particular moon. So this moon is going to be in a square to Pluto. Now Pluto is about transformation, right? This is our planet that sometimes flips us upside down. It inverts us so that we can get a different perspective on what's going on. But wherever Pluto is at, we're looking to transform. A piece of us has to die off so that another piece can live, right? So in this particular energy and wherever Pluto goes, he's going to bring a little bit of intensity We've got Venus who's over here retrograde, the ruler of the sign that this new moon is happening in. That is important. And so that puts that energy as well in the mix with not only Libra, that's relationships, but Pluto, that's transformation. So I'm telling you, at this new moon, I feel like you're going to be doing some cleaning out. And you have to be kind of ruthless about going in to clean out the things in your life that no longer belong so that you can have your fresh start, so that you have space for this new beginning to begin, right? Because at the new moon, what I always say is we plant the seeds of intention. But here's what happens. When you plant something, think about it, whether it's in your garden or wherever you plant it, in the pot, on the shelf, right? You plant it, and then you just take care of the footwork, right? You have to leave it alone after you take care of the footwork. So you make sure it has sunlight. You water it as needed. You walk by, visit it every here and there, but you don't stand there and stare at your seed. But if you don't take the actions of getting it what it needs, putting it in a pot and in a space that it can actually grow, the thing's not going to grow or it'll sprout up a little bit and then die. So that's exactly what I think is happening here in a lot of your relationships this month. Where do you need to go in and find harmony, find balance? That's what Libra is about about and clean house so that you have enough room in your nice little pot to grow, right? So these are going to be important questions to answer wherever this is happening in your chart. And of course, Pluto is going to bring around the intensity of helping you make sure that you do transform. So one of the things I think is interesting to point out as well about Pluto, um, energy is that while it's transforming us and kind of tearing something down, what it can create, especially in a square to this moon, is emotional crisis, right? It can feel like there's a crisis going on or somebody is taking you on it or a relationship is being tested like crazy, right? And you're being put in a position where you're having to be a little bit more upfront. You're having to be a little bit more firm or maybe you're even having to be a little bit more diplomatic. But ultimately what's happening is that square has put you under enough pressure. It's squeezing you down in this box so that you will have a reaction and come out of it. Now, the best best part about it is that yes, the moon is very reactionary, right? It's very reactionary. So the reaction you would obviously seek to have here is one of Libra quality. Be diplomatic, listen, hear all sides, all of that good stuff. But nonetheless, you will take an action because you need the crisis to be over. But sometimes in relationships, you have got to have a breakdown before you have a breakthrough. Sometimes things just have to come to a head so that you can move forward, okay? Now, because we've got 
Libra being ruled by Venus as well. This particular moon is in um, close proximity to Ceres, which is an asteroid as well. Um, there's a lot of stuff on the table for me that makes me think, what kind of relationships do you have with women in your life? This is a place to have some fresh start. You gotta clean out, of course, but this new moon can bring you fresh starts of connections with women, very specifically in your life, or a feminine energy, or a Ceres could even be over some that has to do with parenting. Venus is taking us backwards. Are you looking over something in your childhood, perhaps, that relationship, or relationships with your mother or a woman in your life, right? I know for sure we've got some people who are in transition right now, so you may be coming the matriarch or the patriarch of your family because the other generations are moving on, right? So whatever this looks like, there's definitely going to be... Um, a connection, I think, to some heavy female energy around this particular moon. Now, this moon is also, astrology-wise, sitting in a quincunx to Neptune. Now, a quincunx tends to say, I'm stuck, right? Like, I can't, I, I see what you're trying to do, but I can't quite figure it out, so you're trying to come to the other side of it, right? So one of the things I would tell you is in this particular moon energy, sometimes the way that this can show up is feeling like you're either here to save everybody or you're the extra victim. And balance, we need balance. What I would tell you is pay attention what is your part? Just what is your part? What is the part that you can change, that you can have the courage to change, or that you can't actually do anything about? Where's the balance here in whatever this relationship is? Now, I do think, too, um, for whatever reason, Neptune can be cloudy. It can cloud you a little bit. So if you do feel like at this particular moon that... Um, maybe your self-esteem or your self-confidence feels a little bit lower. I think that's totally natural and that will move on. Venus is also retrograde, so you feel like your mojo kind of just got sucked out of the back end of a straw or it just like fell off at Target or something. I don't know what happened. But that too, I think, will very much so pass, okay? The last thing that I do want to tell you is that in your physical body, Whatever this looks like, whether it be the actual form and body needing to be nurtured, whether this is a spirit nurturing, an emotional, a mental nurturing, please make sure that you are fed. In part of your planting your seeds, your manifestation that you're setting forward at this new moon for these new relationships, please make sure that they are relationships that feed you that you are part of relationships where you can feed someone else right i mean this is the time to just really get out the garden tools and whack out the things that are not alive growing and prosperous in your life you can absolutely love that friend so much but if you guys are not growing together anymore i love you doesn't mean that i'm with you sometimes i love you means i let you go do what you need to do and i do what i need to do right Ask yourself, is this relationship in balance, right? Or am I giving too much? Libra likes to give a lot. Sometimes they have to practice being on the receiving end so that it reaches balance. But whatever it looks like where you're cleaning out and you're achieving your balance this month with this particular new moon, the idea that it's trying to rush into you are new relationships, fresh relationships, but the ones that are on par with where you need to be. And this is phenomenal. If you have a business, you needed some collaborations. If you have been in a relationship and you're ready to see, can it move forward? Wonderful energy there, right? You know, maybe you needed to find a, a lawyer, a divorce lawyer, something like that, right? Maybe you've been working with somebody on a project and it's just not moving forward and you got to see what's not healthy about it. I think this is a wonderful new moon to usher some beautiful new possibilities into your life. So I very, very much so look forward to seeing what your introspection, what this Venus retrograde helps you bring up so that as we get to this new moon, you can see the new possibilities out there and you can actually see see them in your life getting ready to unfold over the next four weeks. And I do think too, even if you just have a pretty big realization of something that's out of whack or out of balance or how you're 
equilibrium may be off, this is a good indicator that you'll be able and willing to take change to make change going forward. So please leave me in the comment section down below what's going to be changing in your relationships. Even right now while Venus is retrograde, what's kind of creeping into your consciousness where you're going, wait a minute, I'm I, this is a little bit out of balance for me, right? Um, I maybe need to even loosen up and be a little bit more flexible in this area. I don't have to have control over everything, right? Where are these changes already shifting for you and you're starting to see them? And of course, let me know over the next four weeks after we have this new moon, of course, what are you seeing unfold? I would love, love, love to hear about it. And I hope you are keeping up and or keeping at all a moon journal so that you can pay attention to what's happening as these particular events and cycles play out. Because you know what? Sometimes we think, oh, that new moon, absolutely nothing happened happen for me, stormy, blah, 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 right? And then we come back six weeks later and you're like, oh yeah, I think it started about six weeks ago. It's sometimes so subtle we don't realize it until we get some distance from it. So I hope you're keeping a journal, writing it down, or just connecting with that information in some way for yourself, all right? All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the full moon in Taurus video that'll be coming up just soon here. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.